Yes. Okay. Some people may be asking why this speech. This speech won't be a deep dive into Zabbix because the most of what we are using is Zabbix standard. We are using Agent, we are using Sanders, Ping, LLD, etc. But why is special? But what is special about the AV in the installation and industry? There were issues which we were facing when we did implement Zabbix. Let me show you those and how we find we did resolve those. But first, what is AV? AV is the acronym for audio and visual. I think near everyone in this room is using something from the AV industry, maybe daily or weekly, or have contact with it. As an example, when you're using Teams, Zoom, WebEx or something, or like me, I'm using these projectors, this headset and the loudspeakers. This is AV. It's audio, it's visual, and it's interactive experience. Back to our challenges which we were facing. But before, I will, I will show you those and information which we need later for resolving those issues and challenges. Almost in every AV installation, there is so-called a control system. This control system, like its name, does control the whole installation. It can communicate with all devices and knows the status of them. So we keep in mind that we have something like a brain on site. AV is an industry with a huge amount of devices with different operating systems and softwares. That means we have a lot of different protocols. Some of them are proprietary and some are not accessible, accessible nor are IP based. Here are some, of course not all. Some of them are IP based like Dante or, and NDI for audio and video, but some are peer to peer or complete not IP based or both together like RS-232, which is a serial peer to peer protocol. How are you monitoring them without any possibilities to install an agent or not get information over the network? The other challenge which we are facing when we did implement Zabbix, the devices in installation which will be turned off after the usage, as an example, a museum or exhibition. I think everyone in here knows what will happen. I will sh show you two videos of real client installation which is turning off. Another challenge which we facing were the dependent devices. As an example, this video wall controller is dependent of a device which is turned off in the video before. So it won't have an active input anymore. And this would be a problem and Zabbix will trigger an action. Our solution to our challenges We did develop a little software called the Zabbix Bridge, which can receive information from our control system, the brain which we mentioned before, and it does forward to Zabbix. The Zabbix Bridge can send the value to Zabbix or the Zabbix Center or the API, change something inside Zabbix or the API, change the sending value, it's Node.js based and can be hosted together with the Zabbix proxy, or can also run in a Docker container. I will show you now how we did resolve our challenges with the Zabbix bridge. We do see here the Zabbix dashboard of the room which we, dis which we did saw in the video before. We do also see that the system is turned on.
You remember the RAIN on site, the control system which knows near everything about the installation. This control system knows also the state of the installation. Is it turned on or off? The screenshot here is in German. Sorry for that. It asking the user if you are sure to turn off the room. Directly after pressing yes, turn it off, the control system sends a free defined string to our Cybex bridge. The Cybex bridge will receive the command and then does different things against our Cybex installation. First, we do put the hosts or the Cybex API into a maintenance plan so they are not triggered anything anymore. Second, we do send a custom value, in this case zero, over the Cybex sender. The room is turned off and we do not get any alerts from offline devices and we can also show the state of it in a dashboard. This is look like the hosts. and also the state of the installation, which is now turned off. And because Zabbix does nice graphs, we also see when the client did turn the system or the exhibition on and off. So this also helps us to resolve issues. The Zabbix bridge loves the Zabbix API. Every method which is in the Zabbix API can be used in the Zabbix bridge. So as an example, at the independent devices, which I showed you before, this video wall controller does have, when the system is turned off at the input, no active pixels and no information about the input because the PC, the system is turned off. So we did, call, we did create uh, three macros in our device template. The information which the, the, the active pixel should have, horizontal, vertical, and also the side state. We use also those macros at the triggers. And with the Zabbix bridge, we do change the value of the macro at the, at the device. So if the system is turned off, we are sending to the, to the macro a zero. So the system knows that the, there, there should be no input and does not send any alerts. And because we are using the side state here, we do not trigger anything. And of course, vice versa. So if the if the installation is turned on and we have any issues with the input, like for example, the PC is broken or the graphic card or whatever, it will trigger an alert because we should receive active pixels and the side state is on. So this is matching and there will be a message. The Zabbix bridge and also the templates, or soon the templates we are, which we are using, are available on GitHub. The Zabbix bridge is already available on GitHub, so feel free to use it. Like I've told, <laughs> I'm faster than planned. 